plays the desperate and dateless Agent Mulder. But away from the X-Files, David Duchovny is looking forward to a phenomenal February 14th. My wife's birthday is right around Valentine's Day, so I do have something special planned for the whole the season. Lucky bride Taylor Leone wed David last May. He's making sure their first Valentine's Day as husband and wife is one to remember. I'm working on something really elaborate and really cool, and, and she has no idea. I hope I pull it off. Someday, David hopes to pull off another big event, kids. We'll get started uh, one of these years and uh, see how, how it goes and how we handle one and then maybe another. Whoops. E.T. joined the X-Files in Vancouver where David and Jillian Anderson were on a vampire stakeout. The show may move to Hollywood next season, but for now, David has to spend most of his time away from Taya and their Los Angeles home he loves. It's the only house I ever, uh, I ever owned, really. Yeah. You know, well, the bank owns it, but it's the only house I've ever not paid rent at. You know, well, you know, you pay mortgage, it's just like rent. Your name is on the mailbox. Exactly. Well, no, it's not. Not yet. <laughs> not just uh, yet. Never. You know, I don't want, you know, anybody to know that I live there. Yeah. But David's happy to let everyone know how good married life has been to him. So good, in fact, even his co-stars know it. He has shifted a bit. It's, it's been a, a definite um, energy shift. He seems um, happier and more content. It kind of plants your feet firmly, and that, you, know, you can take a better swing that way. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you, Chris. Taya is not the only X-File female fan with a hankering for Agent Mulder. His Internet fans have set up a website called the David Duchovny Estrogen Brigade.